What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to my kitchen. First things first, I gotta address the elephant in the room. We just hit half a million subscribers, oh my god. When I started YouTube, that was like the end goal. It was like, if we hit half a million, we'll be good. But I mean, we're here now and uh, I don't feel like stopping. So now I guess the next goal is a million, right? The secret to success, whether that's with weight loss, building muscle, subscribers on YouTube, is once you reach your goal, set a new goal. Keep going, there's no reason to stop, man. Today, I got a very special video, one that I really didn't think was possible. Building muscle, losing weight, and possible or three words you never hear in the same sentence ever, ever. But today we're changing that. Anabolic mac and cheese, creamy, delicious, lots of volume. And if you've been having a pasta kick lately, we're gonna crush it. As always, if you got the RGF recipe book, link in description, go down and get the latest copy. Like I said, you get it one time, every update, every recipe we do, it's added to so have a handy little guide right in your pocket so you can make all these recipes whenever you want, man. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! The goal with anabolic recipes or the goal with my cookbook in general is that when you're dieting, you don't got to give up the foods that you love, right? And mac and cheese was one I thought was always going to be off limits, but uh-uh. Instead of using traditional pasta, we need to use chickpea pasta. This is Bonza brand right here. You don't got to use this brand. Almost every grocery is going to have a version of this. Walmart has a different version. I got this at HEB. Just get chickpea pasta. And I'm promising you guys, if someone put this in the place of regular pasta, you'd have no idea. It doesn't have a chickpea taste, nothing. It tastes just like regular pasta. And we go with chickpea pasta in general because because in this entire box, 56 grams of protein, 32 grams of fiber, man. So we're gonna be fuller, we're gonna be more anabolic, and at the end of the day, it's gonna make us more sexy. If you can't get on board with those three things, then get out. Step one, these are just like regular noodles. So we gotta boil them, man. We're gonna need about four cups of water. We're gonna put it in a medium-sized saucepan. And let me tell you, the package calls for eight cups, but unless you wanna clean up an overflowing mess, I would just go with four. Learned that one the hard way last night. Water's on the skillet, go ahead, crank that up, and we're gonna bring it to a boil. You were wondering when we are gonna bust this out, weren't you? Boom. So we need 224 grams of our chickpea pasta. Any of these boxes is weighed out to 224 grams already, but we'll just be safe here. And would you look at that? Only off by a gram. So like a white van with free candy painted on the side, you can trust it. Once your water's boiling, pour the pasta in, man. Make sure you get all of it. You don't want to miss out on any bites. Okay, once the pasta's in there, optional step. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in there. Just a little bit, bud. Public service announcement number one, salt doesn't make you fat. Get you a ladle, stir it up a little bit, man. And you want to cook this between seven to eight minutes. I like seven, I like my stuff a little softer. So I'll set a timer and we'll wait on this to finish. And after the seven minutes, it gets you a strainer, ain't gotta be nothing fancy. This was like six bucks at Walmart. You gotta wade through a sea of bodies, but they got some good deals there, let me tell you. We're just gonna strain these off. Woo, nice. Now we're just gonna place these in a bowl and set them to the side. Noodles are done, that was super simple. Now, the next part, also super simple, just requires a few different ingredients. We need to make an anabolic cheese sauce, which means it's loaded with protein, and if you have enough of it, you're gonna end up even sexier. Some of y'all didn't think that was possible because you're already really sexy, but just trust me on this one. One. I'm a doctor. No, I'm not. Measure out 160 grams of unsweetened almond milk. Gonna make this sauce really creamy, and once you see what we're doing here with it, you're gonna be amazed, man, because I sure was. Now we need to measure out 84 grams of fat-free cream cheese. Make this creamy, make it delicious, with none of those extra calories, just the protein. Would you look at that? Look at it, boom, perfect. And the final ingredient is 112 grams of fat-free cheddar. You know, I'm really surprised more people don't eat fat-free cheese. It's literally just protein. That's it, man. They take all the fat out of it, all those greasy calories. And if you're the type of person that things that like dairy upsets your stomach. I eat so much dairy, it's not even funny. I don't think it's dairy in general that's messing with you. I think it's all the grease and the fat from the dairy. You remove that and you get it just a creamy protein. Doesn't mess with me one bit, man. Well, I don't eat dairy. We don't like gains then, do you? Now, take your pot, set your stove to a medium heat right there in the middle and just pour your almond milk right in there. Nice. And then go ahead, get your cheese handy, get your fat-free cream cheese handy and get a whisk handy. We're gonna watch this almond milk until it starts to steam. Once it starts to steam, we're gonna start making this anabolic sauce. I want that sauce. Mm -hmm. 
own milk is steaming. So what we're gonna do, put our fat-free cream cheese right down in here. And once it's in there, take your whisk and slowly start to just kind of move it around and it's gonna melt and combine with our almond milk. You don't gotta whisk it super fast or nothing, just kind of keep playing with it, man. It's gonna melt down and make this really thick base for our sauce. Once it's thick and you can't see any more of the cream cheese, grab your cheddar cheese, dump it in there, boom, 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 and then whisk that too, and it's slowly gonna come together, all be the same consistency, and we're gonna have ourselves a nice anabolic cheese sauce. Telling you people, this is a game changer. Once your cheese sauce is all the same consistency, it's all melted, it's all good, you can turn the heat off and we're gonna put our pasta in here. Gonna be careful to make it not splash. I don't know how successful we'll be though. Come on, baby. I'm using my hand. <laughs> I just realized that. There you go, more professional, like this. Aw, oh, baby, this is gonna be great. And once you guys hear the macros on this, you're just gonna be amazed. Now feel free to take it off of the heat and just give it a nice little stir. We want every noodle to be as covered in cheesy goodness as possible. And boom, that's looking pretty great to me. You know what time it is, man. No one watches the video unless we got a good thumbnail. So I gotta somehow rig this up and make it look pretty. If you made it this far to the video, smash that thumbs up button for me, passing on all this anabolic knowledge, and comment the recipe you'd like to see down below, man. I'm taking some of these as a challenge. I wanna keep making the foods that we all love and make them fit our diets. Oh my goodness, that's a pile. And then finally, in my opinion, the only thing mac and cheese really needs is some salt. I like a lot of salt, people. Salt won't make you fat. It might make you hold a little bit of water. You might have a couple little bit of extra pounds of water weight the next day if you have a lot of salt, but it ain't real weight, man. And if you're already in shape, you're not even gonna notice it. A little bit of black pepper too. Ooh, baby, money. All right, guys, enough talking. Let's get down to business. Oh man, it's showtime. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I never thought mac and cheese and dieting could literally go be in the same sentence, but it can be. You just gotta do it the right way, man. Don't listen to the lies we were all fed about fitness where you gotta eat certain foods and only certain foods help you burn fat. That's not true, man. You just need enough protein, you need to eat the amount of calories for your goal, and that is it. Don't listen to anything else. Okay, let's get in here. Let's get a nice big bite, man. Ooh, take a look at that, boy. She's a beaut, Clark. She's a beaut. Three, two, one, let go. Mmm, yes, yes. I am so glad I have pasta back in my life. Mmm, for real, the chickpea pasta, can't tell the difference. You just can't. Cheese sauce, nice and thick, full of protein, and guilt-free. I literally ate this all day yesterday, and the difference between like regular mac and cheese and this is that after you eat regular mac and cheese, right, it's loaded with fat, loaded with a bunch of calories, really heavy. You eat it, you get like no fiber, you're still craving more food, but you feel miserable, you feel beached. You could eat this entire recipe, and you're gonna be satisfied, you're gonna be full, but you could go for a freaking five-mile run. You're gonna feel great. It's not gonna put you down, man. And it's gonna help you build muscle. Mm. Once again, we don't gotta starve ourselves, right? We don't gotta eat just tiny little bits. You get a little bite of an apple and you're done. We ain't doing none of that. We're eating real food. We're eating good food. And we're eating a lot of it, man. You don't wanna be starving all day. You don't gotta be obsessed with food. That's how you create binge eating disorders. That's how you go hard for two weeks and spiral out of control because it's not sustainable. We gotta create sustainable diets around here. If you want to be lean year round, you wanna lose weight, you wanna get the body of your dreams, what you're doing has to be something you can do all the time. That's why these recipes are such a game changer. Do you want mac and cheese? You can go out to a restaurant and blow 3,000 calories on a bowl. You can eat this guy and keep trucking right along, man. It's your decision to make. Mm. Little pro tip for no one that's ever tried this either. G Hughes sugar-free sweet and spicy barbecue sauce with mac and cheese. Oh, Lord. It's good. Everybody leaves satisfied when G's on top. See? Uh, mm. That barbecue sauce on there is really worth that. With recipes like this, you can make your own modifications, man. Add some lean ground beef to it. Add some chicken in there. Do mozzarella mac and cheese. You don't even gotta use cheddar, man. You can make your own modification your own versions of these. That's the whole goal. Like once you know what you gotta do to make something like this, it's not hard to tweak, man. You wanna make half the recipe? Use half of all the ingredients. You wanna make double? Use double. You wanna make the whole thing and put the other half in Tupperware container and eat later like I'm gonna do? You do that, man. You're free to do whatever you like. Let's break down these macros. So in total for this whole recipe, it's 1148 calories, but we only have 16 grams of fat, 102 grams of protein, 149 grams of carbs, 33 grams of fiber. So I want you to put this recipe up against any other mac and cheese 
cheese recipe out there. We easily got five, six, seven times the protein. The same with the fiber. There's no fiber in regular pasta. And how low our fat is, it's unheard of, man. This is gonna be a new staple for me. Mm. And if you're worried about your greens, throw some spinach in there or something. I wouldn't do it, but you can. Or just take a scoop of Final Boss Greens. Scoop a day keeps the doctor away. You're covering the nutritional bases. Hashtag health. Hashtag I'm trying to put off that prostate exam for as long as I can. Available on FinalBossFormance.com or Amazon.com with free two-day shipping. Use code RJF10 for 10% off. By the way, you guys almost bought all of our protein. It's about gone. So thank you for that. Y'all are the best. I'm sweating. If you want this recipe, all my other recipes with a little handy step-by-step -step guide, every ingredient, every macro listed. That way you don't got to pull up the video every time just to make one thing. You got a handy guide right in your phone. Boom, baby. Link in description. RJF Cookbook. You get it one time. You're going to get every future recipe for free. Free updates, man. It's a lifetime commitment. We're in this together. Funny thing is, I'm getting tagged on Instagram. People were making this before I even filmed the video because I updated the cookbook. So if you want to be ahead of the curve, that's how you do it, man. Dieting doesn't have to be tough. Dieting doesn't have to be eating crappy foods you don't enjoy. The whole key to being successful is sustainability. Coming from someone that used to do carb cycling, keto, the fad diet of the week, I would follow it religiously, get lean, get in shape, and then I would rebound, gain all the weight back, and I would just be miserable. That's real stuff. This is continuously the leanest I've been. I don't even really feel like I'm trying to diet right now because I'm having fun with what I'm doing, man. Unless you're super rich and you can afford a personal chef to make all your meals, you gotta learn to cook. This ain't hard. It's actually fun and you feel accomplished when you're eating great foods that you made that are helping you towards your goals. So if you want in on that, check out my cookbook. And if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, you don't want to have to put any thought into it. You want me to make you a meal plan. You want me to tell you how to train. You want to work with me in any capacity. RoomJaceFitness.com, my personal trainer. I'll build you a meal plan, buddy. I'll tell you what to do. You just gotta do it. That's it. You show up, you get it done, you're gonna see results, no matter what. Mm, this is so good. So good. Mm, I am legit soaked right now. What is happening? This recipe is so thermogenic. I'm losing weight just sitting here. Thank you guys, as always, for a half a million subs. We're shooting for a million. So if you're watching this, subscribe. Helps a ton. Comments below are always killer. Comment anything. I really don't care what you put down there, bud. As long as you do it. Helps the channel. A lot of support there. So I appreciate you guys for real. And until next time, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys.